Hey everyone, Daniel here for Rock the JVM. I've just launched the brand new Apache Flink course for Scala developers. So I wanted to take a few moments of your time to describe the course structure and the course outcomes in case you're interested so that you know how this course may benefit you. So this course is for existing Scala developers. So I assume familiarity and comfort with the Scala programming language as well as some computer science foundations. Now, if you also have some data engineering experience or concepts, that is a bonus, but I'm going to describe everything that you need to know in the course. Now, the goal of this course is to make you a fully productive Apache Flink developer in real life. So if you need Flink for work, this course is for you. Now, in this course, I also describe some data engineering concepts and ideas that you can take away with you regardless of whether you use Flink Flink or not, so this course will transcend Flink itself. Now, if you happen to not know what Flink is, or if you're curious about Flink, Flink is a distributed system and computational engine for stateful big data streaming, which is quite a mouthful. It's essentially a computational engine with a variety of APIs to stream big data in real time. And some of the main features of Flink include event time and processing time semantics for all events, the ability to offer both low latency and high throughput, where in most cases this is a painful trade-off to make, but Flink does this very, very well. Flink also offers exactly once consistency guarantees so that you don't lose any data. It also offers connectors to pretty much everything that's popular right now, including Apache Kafka, Cassandra, Pulsar, JDBC, HDFS, a variety of storage systems, and you can also define your own connectors. And it also offers high availability and fault tolerance for your distributed system, which is very important in real life applications. Now, there are three use cases that Flink is best suited for. The first one is event-driven applications. When you have lots and lots and lots of events, for example, in an IoT application, and you want to handle those events in a uniform manner. The second use case is real-time data analytics, because due to the low latency of Apache Flink, you can analyze your data in graphs in almost real time. And the third use case is low latency data pipelines, because Flink is much faster to produce data than traditional batch processing engines like Apache Spark, for instance. Now, let me quickly walk you through the structure of the course so that you can get some idea of the kind of skills that you will get from the course. The first chapter establishes the kind of groundwork that we're going to need for the rest of the course, including some scholar knowledge and some first principles about where Flink stands in the big data picture. Then we're going to dive right into data streams, which are the essential Flink APIs. So you're going to learn how to process data in real time, including some quite difficult transformations, including window functions right off the bat. So in this essential stream chapter, you will now know how to work with streaming data. And then we will learn how to deal with managing state, because one of the strengths of Apache Flink is to be able to do stateful computations. And Flink offers some very low level APIs that give you a lot of control over how you manage your application. Then we're going to learn how to integrate Flink with a variety of services, including Kafka, JDBC, Cassandra, and also with your own sources and data destinations known as syncs. And then finally, in the last chapter, you will learn some Flink operational essentials, which means debugging applications in the Flink UI and learning how to deploy applications on an actual cluster. So at this moment, we have 28 lessons where I deconstructed Flink into the most important parts and turned it into a smooth learning sequence because Flink is notoriously hard to learn because of the steep learning curve. And in total, we have eight hours of video and we write more than 2000 lines of code from scratch. Besides that, you'll have access to the entire code, all the slides, and much like any other Rock the JVM course, this will give you access to the Rock the JVM private community. You'll get free updates, so this will never expire. You have lifetime access if you purchase the course. Or if you want a cheaper version, you can purchase the monthly or yearly membership here at Rock the JVM, which will give you access to the entire site for a low cost per month. So I hope you enjoyed this course, and I'm waiting for you inside.